it's really weird to think that the last subscription box that I will be opening the year is actually the one I have subscribed to the longest. That one being the long ball box. How? Welcome to Night Rips. And yeah, this is, I th actually, I think I'm, so I've subscribed to this box for almost a year, but it is a fun one. This one's one that has six hobby packs, one retail pack, one nostalgic pack, um, guaranteed hit, supplies, a bonus pack, plus a bonus card, and potential bonus break cards. So a lot that can be in this one, and I have pulled some really fun stuff with it before. So I will get to ripping, and as I open, before I show you everything, I will invite you to join the channel, hitting that subscribe button and the notify bell. Also, if you're interested in the long ball box, of course they're sold out for December, but you can go to longballbox.com. The, these boxes cost about 70 bucks at one time and around 65 if you subscribe. And that would be, you know, a lot of fun. And they do sell out, so you've gotta, you gotta get there quick. So let's see what we got this month. So we got a pack of 21 Bowman Best. That's a one in three odd. A 22 Tops update from Hobby, one in 24. Tops Finest flashbacks from Tops. Don't know what the hits is at that. Pro debut from 22. Hit odds one in six. Tops Archives, hit odds one in 22. I mean, sorry, one in 12. 2016, so we got some old stuff here. This will be Heritage High Number, Hobby Box, one in 24 and a 2016 Holiday Retail that would be a hit in 1 in 10. Of course, there's everything else you can get. But as always, I'm more about what's in the packs than what's on an odd sheet. Let's slide. Oh, I can already tell we got us some, some upper deck. It must be our nostalgic pack. Getting everything over here to the side before I go through the packs, put them in order, and rip them as I usually do. Old, oldest and newest. So nothing left in there. Put that away. Let's see what we got. Of course, we got our supplies, which is always our card sleeves. So there's our 21 Bowman Best, 22 Tops Update, 22 Finest. I'll put that one next. 22 Archives, 2016 Hobby of, uh, or sorry, Holiday. That's a retail pack. There's 21 holiday. So actually, that must be our bonus pack. Of course, our nostalgic pack, 92 upper deck. Know that one well. There's our 22 pro debut. We'll put that one first since that's going to be our, our young guys and our 2016 heritage high number. So let's stack them like that. But before we jump into all these packs, Let's take a look at our hits. Oh, that's a nice one. Right off the bat, I see we got ourselves, this would be, actually I'm drawing a blank who it is. Don't memorize everything, but that would be a, oh, Ty Cobb. Yeah, I should have known better. From 2021, um, Gypsy Queen. It's a Ty Cobb, it's a high number, but not only is it a high number, it is a no-name high number. I should have known that was Ty Cobb. I'm embarrassed. But behind that, we do have Bowman Sterling of Arol Vera. From Bowman, what was that? Bowman Sterling, 2022. Okay. That's interesting. Doesn't jump out off the top of my head, but they do have a very pretty autograph, as you can see. Of course, this is on card because this is Sterling. I've actually pulled some cool stuff in Sterling before. But let's zoom in and take a look what we got. So we'll start off. This is 92 upper deck. This would be the low number. This is the one there's a potential of finding a Ted Williams autograph. And I've opened up a lot of the upper deck. So I've opened up these. And I've cracked, I got a whole box of it below me right now. But I typically save those for my one minute anymore. But let's see what we get. We got Martinez. I got Mark Williamson. I don't have to go as fast as I usually do when I script the names. There's David West. Nice David Justice there. Of course, 92 would be his second year. 
uh, Steve Chitrin. And of course, I'm gonna screw up the names too, just to warn you. Bill Kruger, Brett Barbary, Luis Rivera. It's actually a neat, neat looking one. Here's Oral Hershiser, still with the Dodgers there. David Gallagher, Greg Olson, Leo Gomez, Mo Stanford. Should be a rookie or yeah, star rookie of Arthur Rhodes and Brian Harvey. So no Ted Williams that time. Of course, that Ted Williams we're looking for is a numbered, hand numbered out of 25 autograph. So now that was that was the nostalgic. Let's jump into 2016. This would be Topps Holiday. 10 cards, odds one in ten, because these are from the the mega boxes, where there are a couple. Oh, geez, that thing just fell apart on me. There are a couple of hits in that one. I think there's at least two. Who do we get? Oh, there we go. Actually, an interesting, he he just signed a big deal. That'd be Jake Odorizzi. Actually, no, he didn't uh, think it's someone else. He was actually a pitcher for us into the season. Of course, we don't have him anymore. But that's future star Jake Odorizzi. There's Granky back when he was with the... Uh, Diamondbacks, of course, he's a royal now. I think they re-signed him. Matt Duffy, Trace Thompson, rookie. Eric Hosmer, of course, forget where Hosmer went to. I know he was a Padre, ended up going to the, forget where, geez, it's been, you'd think just because baseball's been out for a couple months, I wouldn't forget, but Giovanni Galarado, there's Johnny Cueto, Ross Stripling, actually I think he just signed, forget with who, Corey Kluber, and Greg Kimbrell, still with the uh, Boston, of course he was a Dodger, he was a White Sox, he was a Cubs, he was a Brave, been to a plenty, plenty of places. All right, staying in 2016, let's take a look at Heritage High Number. This is Today's stars in the 1967 design. Let's see if the pack doesn't explode on me like the other one did. That's pretty crazy. The whole thing just just gone. And we got Matt Reynolds, Logan Verrett, Jerickson Profar. Of course, he is now a free agent. Tyler Chatwood. I think he's a free agent, or he's people going to trade for him. We got the Snake Sluggers. There'd be the National League MVP, Paul Goldschmidt, and Wellington Castillo. Pedro Alvarez, Brandon Moss, John Jasso, and Tim uh, Edelman. Do a real quick check of the back to see if there's any sort of variations here. I don't think so. Nothing really jumped out at me, and there isn't. All right. So, out of 2016, let's move into last year, 2021. But it is Christmas, so we do have another holiday pack. This would be the 2021 holiday. Of course, retail product. I'm guessing, I don't remember off the top of my head, it's probably the same odds as the 2016, so it's probably about 1 in 10. So, we will see. At least that holiday didn't explode as much. But we got Dane Dunning. Fermil Reyes. Of course, with the Indians. Of course, that's the Guardians now. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton. There's Goldie again. Looks like this is going to be the Goldie rip today. National League MVP. Uh, Ian Anderson. Of course, that would be his rookie card. Real curious to see if he makes a comeback next year. I don't know. Chris Paddock. Nathaniel Lowe, Gene Segura, Nick Gordon rookie, and Andrew Vaughn rookie. So some cool rookies, no hits, but gotta love the holidays. Actually, you know, one thing I did not look at real close, just flipping through quickly to see if any sort of short print, do I see any sort of Christmassy things other than the the streamers on the back, and I didn't, so. 
Let's keep it going. 2021 Bowman Best. Five cards. I think the odds is 1 in 12. Had to look over. I put my list a little bit too far out of my view. Sucks getting old and not being able to see. Okay, we got a Glaber Torres. Nice chromey there. And Jacob deGrom, who just signed that huge deal five years with the Rangers. We have a Jazz Chisholm Jr. rookie. Pretty nice. Oh, and we got a congratulations, and I'm going to... If you saw it, good luck. And, you know, Congratulations, I didn't. But we got a polar bear, and I saw congratulations. So we did get a hit, and it is Alexander Ramirez, outfielder for the Angels. Kind of a neat look at auto on card. Pretty neat though. It kind of fits with the angels with that nice A there. Pretty cool. All right, so pulled a hit in one of the packs, 2021. And I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll tell you truthfully, I don't really follow the angels that closely. So now let's go take a look. So let's go ahead and take a look at pro debut. Of course, this is the minor leaguers, and this is 2022 pro debut. Just looking at my list again, this would be an odds is one in six. So we're going to continue the streak. I don't know. There's De Castro. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his first name. Of course, then you give me somebody whose last name is even fun to pronounce. That's uh, Jerkstad. I don't know. Ryan Holgate. Max Muncy. Of course, that is the not Max Muncy from the Dodgers. Oh, where we go. Luis Angel Acuna. And for those that don't know, that is Ronald Acuna Jr.'s little brother. That's actually pretty cool. Put him on the stand because I respect his brother. Cody Morissette, Urabel Angels, and Will Bednar. Wow, that's cool. Not necessarily hit to most people, but the fact is he is Ronald's little brother. Got to put him on the stand. But let's go ahead and open up some 2022 Tops Archives. Of course, this is a hobby pack. I have only opened one blaster this, and to be fair, I pulled the most bizarre autograph I have ever gotten in my life. Not that it was, I mean, it's a fan favorite, guy who played for about 11 years, multiple teams, but the fact is I got an autograph that's numbered not once, but twice. So, still don't get this one. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to remember what year I'm going to say. This is 63, but that would be an Ozzy Albies. Kevin Smith. This would be, uh, say, 70. I don't remember now. Good Lord. I should have been, went back and looked. But we got Scott Rowland. Vladdy Jr. A National League, that would be the reliever award, of Josh uh, Hader. Of course, now with the Padres. And then, of course, we know this year. This is 1987. Jordan Alvarez, Shane Bieber, Luis Giolito, and that's it. Checking the backs. Actually, this is not Heritage, so I would actually not know. I'd have to go back and look to see if there's any of those are short prints. So we got two packs to go. 22 Tops Finest. This would be the from Tops.com. So... Doesn't say hobby or any, it's the tops.com product. So don't really know, other than unless I look in that, that itty bitty print, I don't know the odds. Let's take a look. Five cards, right? Yeah. And we have ourselves a Lou Bob. Aaron Judge, of course, the MVP, and also the man who broke the American League home run record of Roger Maris with 62 home runs. We have 
a refractor of Slammin' Sammy, Sammy Sosa. There's Sixto Sanchez. We'll be curious to see if he comes back this year. Didn't play at all last year. And we'll end it with, oh, Julio Rodriguez. J-Rod, another one everybody's trying to chase this year. So not too shabby. Last pack. Last pack would be a hobby box or hobby pack from 2022 Tops Update, which is ex exciting since I haven't finished this set yet. Of course, it's not going to have any of the Stars MLB in it. Those are retail only. But let's take a look. Still got to finish up this set. And the chance of a hit in this one is 1 in 24. There's a rookie debut, C.J. Abrams. Kelvin Gutierrez. Yankees legend, Luke Voigt. It's a joke. Silseth. There's a Joey Wentz. Jordan Luplau. Of course, he is now a Brave. Just signed him recently. Brad Hand. Adrian Martinez. We have a Juan Soto still with the Washington Nationals. Of course, this is a 1987 style. That would be our insert in this one. It's actually used I got an insert. Daniel Norris. Bradley Zimmer, MJ Melendez. One last dance, of course, that would be Wainwright, Pujols, and Yadier Molina. And then ending it with Corey Kluber. So that's it. Definitely a fun rip. Pretty cool. Some of the stuff I pulled, you know, obviously there's some things I'm gonna have to go and take a look to see where it, you know, fit to my in my collection. But did end up pulling this Luis Angel Acuna. Of course, this one is cool to me, again, because of his brother, Ronnie. I mean, I'm going to follow him and his other brother, since they are both in the minor leagues. We did pull out of a Bowman Best an Alexander Ramirez autograph. Not numbered, but still pretty cool. From my hits and my bonus cards, I did get a, this would be 21 Gypsy Queen, be a Ty Cobb, no name, and an Arol Vera uh, autograph. So actually, I got two Angels autographs this time. So it must have been the Angel box. Angel and got Paul Goldsmith. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, the last one of the uh, the subscription boxes for the year. Of course, January is right around the corner. Still be getting them up here pretty soon and be putting those up. Also, we'll mention that Come the, towards the end of the year, I, I do do, or actually usually it's on the last day of the year, I do do a recap of the entire year. It's my annual recap. Make sure to tune into that. And how do you know when I put stuff up like that? It's easy. Join the channel. Hit the subscribe button below and hit the notify bell. Also, if there's anything interesting, anything you want to give me any feedback on, drop it in the comment section below. But as always, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. It helps the channel by driving more people to come watch it. Appreciate taking the time watching another subscription box opening. I'll be doing more. I'll be doing a lot more stuff in 2023. So I look forward to doing it and sharing with you. So until then, bye now.